Hey guys, what's up? It's Darren here. And as you can see, my interfaces are looking really awesome. So I'm in the alpha of the new interfaces. And pretty much I've been loving it so far. I've been like testing it out for like 20 minutes now. And I really love this new alpha system. So people who got um, access to this can go on the beta as well. And you can choose to play either the or try out the HTML5 beta or the alpha for the new interfaces. So yeah, I have the gold membership, so I got access to both. So the th first thing I noticed and I really loved is you can finally zoom in your character without going to uh, graphics settings and zoom in. So if you want to zoom in now, you just go scroll with your mouse and look how far you can zoom in. This is what I really love. And this is going to be amazing for video makers. So they can get some uh, good clips from close-ups. This is really awesome. So you can zoom out really easy as well. And the camera is above your view. This is really annoying. I don't really like this view. But yeah, um, the ability to zoom in but just by scrolling your mouse is just so much more easier and awesome for stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah, the new graphics interfa uh, interfaces. So as you can see, um, I've got here my friend chat. Or my friends here, my friend chat, so I can like easy. Uh, it's easy to see who's online, and if I want to PM somebody, you can just go easy like this. Hi, yeah. Same goes in the well in your friend chat. You can see who's in your friend chat. Then I've pulled out my friend chat in a different interface, like in the different space. So I've put my friend chat here, and then I've he got the global chat, the private chat. So it's easy to like keep track of both chats while like not being interviewed by the other one. So yeah, then here I've got my backpack. Um, yeah, I try to make it uh, as small as possible, but still easy to access without having to scroll. So if I make this uh, smaller, it's annoying because you have to scroll then. So just make sure you don't have the scroll ball. Right. So here is the worn equipment. Um, this can be really easy for PVMing. If you want to activate your scrimshaw, you can make this smaller, then you don't see your character moving around. But I think it looks pretty cool if you have your character spinning around the whole time. But you just got to make your equipment screen a bit bigger, then you can have your character turning or spinning the whole time. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, then I've put my cursor of my prayers on the top right. So like if I'm next thing, I need to switch prayers really fast. I can just do that without going to another inventory screen and click on praise and then blah 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 blah. So yeah, this is really awesome for PVMing or PvP or whatever for everything pretty much. So yeah, um, that's that. You can also see your prayers uh, on top here, but you can edit that if you go to escape, edit mode, and then mini game on a gameplay HUD settings. If I think it on, so you can put your prayers. Oh fuck. You can put your prayers there, you can see what buffs or debuffs you got, so I think if you are being slaughtered, then it goes on there as well. So it's basically like the combat tab, then yeah, task complete, new task, the grave interface, so it doesn't go on your middle of your screen, you can put it like here, I think it's nice to put it like somewhere here. Right, then we got the area status, I'm not sure what that, what that is, and then grave timer. I think that's a good place to put it here. So yeah, um, you can pretty much edit everything. Uh, mini game H U D. Wow. Um, this is like if you complete Cast Force games, then this will appear in the middle of your screen. Then we got the 3D world editing. You can pretty much make your screen smaller, like or bigger, like your gameplay screen. Um, let's see how it works again. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I don't know if anybody is actually going to use this, but yeah, you can make your gameplay screen bigger or smaller, but I'm just going to leave it the maximum. So yeah, um, you can here select some presets. Oh shit, are you sure? Yes. Alright, so this is my setup. I'm really loving the beta. You can do so much things with this. It's unbelievable. It's going to be awesome for PVMing. PvP, skilling, whatever you want, so like you can delete easily stuff if you think this is too much um, stuff on your screen, you can just delete them. 
Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, also, let me show this. So you got you got my hero now, and you can see everything pretty much here. How much money you got, your total XP, your combat level, how many quests you have done, and the task system. So yeah, it's really awesome. Um, this is still the same. This is still the same as well. My inventory, yeah. This is, yep, this is already, like, you can drag stuff out of there to your screen, I already got it here. But yeah, you can, like, drag everything out of the uh, normal interfaces and then drop it wherever you want. So yeah, this is still coming soon. Let's see what else do we have. My adventures, okay, the quest. Finally, there's no new interface, like, it doesn't cover your whole screen. <laughs> when you're trying to look for a quest, this is really awesome. So yeah, um... Let me see if you can actually drag this. No, not yet. Alright, too bad, you cannot drag the quest. Like, just have it in a se separate um, interface, the quest. But yeah, um, let's see what else do we have. My powers. Alright, so here are the abilities. Okay, you can drag them on your action bar. Curse prayers. Alright, I'm not sure what this is. Melee, range, magic, defense, prayers. My powers, they are still locked. I'm not totally sure what that means, but yeah, we'll see in the future. Right, show show. I think they are still working on this so that uh, people's A lock appear on here, so that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, this is all locked. Yeah, then we got the GE interface. So apparently, if you're like, this is in the future. If you're near a bank, you can click on the GE um, icon, and probably a GE will pop up, and you can exit it, exit it from bank, and you don't have to go to GE every time. I think it's going to be like that. Then we got the School of Fortune or Home Store coming soon as well. So yeah, um, I'm really loving the beta so far, or the alpha even. But in my eyes, this is more beta because you can do pretty much a lot of stuff already, and it's not that as broken as the HTML5 beta, but there are obviously some glitches and bugs here and there. But yeah, um, I'll be sure to report them in the forums, and if you got access to it, be sure to do that as well. And yeah, um, let me hear what you guys think of the alpha. I'm really loving it, and yeah, see you next day.